talked about the common <clears throat> we've talked about the common garden variety at thesaurus and i tried to make it as simple as possible to pare that thesaurus down to its um, bare essentials to give you the basic idea of a common thesaurus but if you look at um, at thesaurus.com it's not quite that simple and so i want to complicate the model one notch to give you a feeling for what you would do if, um, if, uh, if, if you really were trying to model something like thesaurus.com. And the one enhancement that we're going to make, and I want you actually to start thinking of, um, of these, uh, the things that I talk about as baseline and enhancement. The baseline is just synonyms, antonyms, and now we're going to enhance it because I want more functionality. I want more ability in my schema. I want more ability in my model to handle a more complex situation. And here's the more complex situation I want to set up for you. Well, we have the term information. And, uh, and you saw that the term that I showed you had information defined as a noun. Well, that's not the only way that information is defined. Um, it could also be defined, sorry, I, as, as um, not defined as a noun, but defined as facts or news, right? That's the way that we looked at information, as facts or news, but now we also know that information, for example, can be defined another way. So we have another def definition on the picture in your screen here, and that's um, that which is known about a specific subject or situation. It's not information in the, in the sense of news, it's information in the sense of knowledge, right? So another aspect, another version of information. And if you look closely here, you can see that the synonyms and antonyms are very different. This is not the idea of news, this is the idea of knowledge. And so we wouldn't have a synonym for news being knowledge, but we would have a synonym for that other version of information being knowledge. So we have one term, or do we? And this is where the enhancement comes in. So do we have two terms? both of which have the same name information? Or do we have one term that has two separate kind of definitions and realms? Well, you can see, I hope, by looking at the schema that I provided here, which way I've chosen. Take a brief look at that schema and think to yourself, have I chosen to say we have two different terms, both named information? Or have I chosen to say we have a single term named information that has two different versions or two different variants or two different varieties? Hopefully you'll see that I've chosen the latter. That I want to maintain the idea that there is a term, and that term is named information. Part of the reason for that is so that when you find the term information, you're not faced with having to, at that moment that you found the term information, all of a sudden deal with all the variants. You can present the variants in some other way. And so we have the term information, and I want to say that all the different definitions of term with their attendant um, synonyms and antonyms are all under the same cover. They're all in the same term. So, how would we do that? You can see that I made a, a, a really a very simple, straightforward um, enhancement to the schema, or change to the schema, and what I said was, still a term has an ID, still a term has a name, but everything else about that term comes under a variety, some more than one, at least one, but maybe more than one, definition. Every definition has its own part of speech, and every definition has its own synonyms and antonyms. One thing I didn't mention under the common one, which probably you've already noticed, is that it doesn't have to have synonyms and antonyms. Maybe there are words in the language that don't have any synonyms or don't have any antonyms. I don't know what they are, but suppose they have that, so we make it, we make it optional, so that not every definition of every term has to have synonyms and antonyms. So what did I do here? I accounted for the fact that it's more complicated than we have terms and those terms have synonyms and antonyms because we know from our knowledge of language that a single term, and now I'm thinking of it as a single term, not two different terms, a single term can have different definitions, different parts of speech perhaps, and different synonyms and antonyms. So I complicate the schema one notch, I turn up the complexity one, one, uh, you know, one, one, one point on the, on the scale towards something that's more realistic and something that's more able to represent the information that I would have on a thesaurus.com. So this isn't the end, obviously. If we really studied thesaurus.com, we'd come up with all sorts of other enhancements, and we'd come up with a schema that's significantly more complicated than, one, than the one I showed you. What I wanted to do is get you down that road and start showing you how you can start with a base, baseline concept of how to model something, and then increase its complexity for every new situation that you want to handle, for every time you want to turn up the, you want to turn up the functionality and the, and the amount of, um, of structure of information that that model can increase.